Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Not down. Down to It's just the darkness. It's fine. It's fine, Daniel. Keep it together. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. oh, God. Get me out of here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Even if I wanted to. Fuck. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah. No, there's no torch on it. Way to go. Daniel. Oh god. No. <laughs> Fucking insects. Get off of me. Oh! Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, it's, it's, 
It's very smart, Daniel. Let, let's. Let's hide in the only fucking room with a light on. Good to leave. Nothing there. Can't see anything there so far. Oh God. This is pitch black here. things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. On. 
It's just a chair and, and, and a man yelling. Yeah, the, the, the lock on this thing looks very weak. Is it is it weak enough that I can the wind just just the wind we'll, we'll be fine further down but maybe the, the smart thing here we do Lock look look way sturdier than the other one. Or the other uh, the lock. I, I'm not not sure if, if I'm gonna be able to break this. No, 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 it's not. <clears throat> I need something else. I need need something else to break that. Maybe if I. 
find something that that will make it weaker. And there is where we came from. and then to go down the hole. Oh, fuck. Was there a... I don't think there was a... anything. No. Okay. Well, I, ca I gotta go down the hole. clear that. get anywhere from from this tunnel anymore I think so I might as well clear this out that's less in the way okay yeah okay fine we're fine uh kitchen Seems like a good start. Sounds like a like a good enough plan. Oh god, it's dark. It's so fucking dark.
his own good. There's a man in there. The dead man in there. Oh, fuck. Second of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. How, how could I have been... How, how, how did I do this? Like... What? The fuck made me made me go along with all of this shit? Oh god! No! 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 Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, shit. 
This place is so disorienting. He escaped. Where is he now? Uh, have I been here already? I think I have. No, I have not. Third of August, eighteen thirty nine. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Ah, oh, just in time. Ah, oh, I really don't want to be here. 